What's up guys, my name's Brandon, and with iOS 13 rumors coming at us left and right, today we finally got confirmation on when the first beta of iOS 13 will actually be released. So in this video, we're gonna be revealing the exact release date of iOS 13 beta one, and we're also gonna talk about some more new features and changes coming in iOS 13, including a look at the new emojis. So first things first, we do know what the new emojis are gonna look like in iOS 13, thanks to Emojipedia. You can see they posted this article called 239 new emojis in the final list for 2019 and then they showed off all of the new emojis so you can see here all of the new emojis we can expect to see with iOS 13 we have some really funny ones that I know will be overly used on social media and in text messages like we have the yawn emoji here we have a little fingers emoji that I'm sure will be used by a lot of women out there we have a good bit of emojis with disabilities which is nice to see Apple catering to those with disabilities we have a sloth we have a band-aid and just a ton more really unique new emojis. Now, of course, I will leave a link down in the description below if you do want to check out all of these new emojis for yourself. Now, a big new feature coming in iOS 13 that I actually forgot to mention in my last iOS 13 leaks and rumors video also comes courtesy of Mark Gurman and Bloomberg, and that is that there will be a new home screen for the iPad and also likely the iPhone. We also have improvements to file management for the iPad. So yes, we're definitely gonna have a new look on the home screen of the iPad, and we're also probably gonna have that on the iPhone as well. So it's looking like we're gonna have all new icons, which is great to see because we've been looking at these same icons on iOS for years now. So it's really time for a change. So I'm really hoping that iOS 13 delivers with a really big change to the icons. And I'm hoping that it will look great next to the all but confirmed dark mode coming in iOS 13. Now we could also be seeing iOS 13 kill support for the iPhone SE and the iPhone 6S and 6S Plus. Now this is just a rumor, but I'm really hoping this is not true for my iPhone 6S and my iPhone SE gang out there. We do know that iOS 13 is most likely killing the iPhone 5S and the 6, but we're really hoping that it's not gonna kill the SE and the 6S and 6S Plus as well. All right, so now let's discuss when iOS 13 beta one is going to be released. So this news comes courtesy of Mac rumors who have discovered evidence that confirms that the event for WWDC 2019 will take place on June 3rd through the 7th in San Jose, California. Now, Apple does usually send out invites for WWDC, and that's usually how the dates get confirmed, you know, on social media and everything. But this year, Mac rumors actually beat Apple to the punch and leaked these dates. So this is super exciting news because you guys know that during WWDC, every single year we get the first beta of the major new software for iOS, for watchOS, for macOS, and for tvOS. So of course this year it's iOS 13 and we can expect to get the first developer beta of iOS 13 on the very first day, which is Monday, June 3rd. So that is super exciting news to share with you guys and you guys know I'm going to be one of the first people on YouTube to cover iOS 13 in a video. Hope you guys can join the beta program and follow along with me and you know, discover changes and things like that. It's always fun. Of course, if you are on the public beta program, you'll probably get the first beta a week after the developers get it. So expect that first beta of iOS 13 on Monday, June 3rd. And of course, this has not been confirmed by Apple and they're actually trying to clean up their tracks right now and you know erase any proof of this existing, but it's all but confirmed. Again, it comes from Mac Rumors, a very reliable source. So I'm imagining that nothing is going to change. But yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you're looking forward to iOS 13, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. Also leave a comment down below with your favorite feature that you're anticipating with iOS 13. Pretty sure all you guys are going to say dark mode, but the new icons coming in iOS 13 could be a big feature as well that you may like better than dark mode. I don't know. Let me know down there in the comments below. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching the video and I'll see you soon.